my shot. I gotta get in, in line and, and, and make something happen. And once people are able to see me, you know, at 147 and and, and fighting another world title fight, I think I'll, I'll take advantage and show everybody there's a lot more to to Mikey Garcia than what they've seen in the past. I do feel that 140 would be a better fit. We'll go to fuck the 140 fit. then. Um, but it's just one of those things where I know that the champions are also held by a different entity and it's going to be a lot more complicated to secure a world title fight. Uh, two of the belts are held by Ramirez, who's also a stable mate, you know, friend of mine. We're obviously not going to be fighting each other. So it, it just complicates things at 140. And if there's no title fight 140 available, then what am I going to do there, you know? I'd rather, you know, secure and, 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 and reach for, for a title at 147. And that would be unprecedented for you to be able to be a, a five-division world champion. You've been a pro since 20, 2006. I'm so sick of this big head there, dude. Year. Have, do you still have the, the same love for boxing? Do you still have the same, uh, you no. know, as they talk about, that fire in the belly that you had when you were, you know, years ago when you were fighting at 26 and nope. 30? Look, it, it's actually changed. It's a little funny that... When you I first started no, boxing, man. I didn't really have that love or that fire. It kind of was just like something to do, and I it was good at it. It was natural. It's part of the family business. So here I am. But when I took the layoff and and I went through my through my troubles, coming back, kind of ignited that fire, that love. You know, it was taken away for for, for a few years. Now that I have it back, there's a lot more I want to accomplish. There's so much more. To, to show the world that I can be one of the best of this of this generation, of this era. And in order to do so, I got to challenge myself. I got to fight the world champions that are there and and take on, on the biggest fights that, that people want to see me in. And so the, 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 that's the funny part. Like I said, it's changed. Normally, a lot of times for the fighters, it's the other way around, mm -hmm. where maybe as, as, as they get older, they lose that fire, they lose that passion. But for me, it was backwards. Now I, I have that passion. I have. I, I'm not done. I, I'm excited. There's so much more I want to accomplish. I was looking forward to fighting. You know, three times this year. That might not happen with uh, you know the the, the current uh, uh, you know the issues that we're going through. But you know, I want I want to fight a lot more. I'm not done. I, I got many more years to go. And then that's that's what what keeps me going because I know there's so much more I can accomplish. And and I, I believe I will accomplish everything uh, before I retire. Well, let's talk about some of those big name for matchups. Uh, I know that you have mentioned you want a fight with Manny Pacquiao. Also, you have discussed the fact of, you know, even though that he was, he didn't go your way, you suffered the first blemish on your career, but that you would want a rematch with Errol Spence. Let's no, go don't. back about a year ago, uh, 14 months ago, when you fought Errol Spence at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A wonderful atmosphere, over 47,000 fans, close to 50,000. What did you learn in that fight against Errol Spence? Well, you know, it was, it was yeah, uh, a great fight, great performance uh, by him. You know, he, he fought, you know, the perfect fight. Um, you know, he really knew how to box as a southpaw stance, kept the, the, the right distance. Um, I felt like I was I was going to be able to get maybe get on the inside, or maybe use, you know, lateral movement, but I just wasn't able to. He was able to just always be a step ahead. You know, he was a step quicker, you know, a step better in every way. Um, you know, I knew he was going to be a, a, a tough fight, a tough fighter. He does everything so well. He, I kept saying, he reminds me a lot about me. There's nothing flashy and nothing special that, that stands out in, in Errol Spence. But everything he does, he does it very well, very effective. A lot similar to, to the way I fight. But he was obviously a lot better, and he was bigger guy, longer reach, the height that, that he had. He keep comparing himself to Earl Spence, but then turn around. He was a little he was a little better. He was a little better. But he, he's like me. He's like me. So stupid ass. Oh, boy. He knew how to use it. He didn't give it up. You know, whenever I try to get on the inside a little bit, whenever I try to walk forward, he walked back. And keep the distance. And whenever I tried to box on the outside, he would walk forward just enough to be at a distance that he was able to uh, uh, tag me with and then land punch and combinations. Beat the shit out, Mike. Am I back? 
That boy. Mikey, you know we're back? He yeah, got flashbacks of um, the ass whooping. That's what happened. He was able to always, you know, dictate that distance. So he was, he was, he was, he found a perfect fight. And I mean, what else can I learn? You know, hey, that's, that's just boxing, you know? You gotta, you gotta take, take what you, you know, what you learn from that loss and keep moving forward. And, and I think I want to earn my, my, my shot. I need to win, what? you know, a few fights, get another big fight, maybe a world title fight, and that will secure a, a, a rematch opportunity. Boy, if you don't sit your ass down somewhere, boy, you know, we don't belong in this ring with that dude no more, man. That boy beat the shit out you. All 12 rounds. Go sit down somewhere, man. And go on try to steal that Manny Pacquiao fight like you've been trying to do. Because that's the only person you want to fight. Because you ain't really trying to fight Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford, nobody like that. Because you just got your ass beat all 12 rounds. That boy kept that perfect distance control, and you kept your hand up in the air. And that was that. I'm out. <laughs>